General Motors East Africa has been operating in Kenya since 1975, assembling and selling vehicles to mostly Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania and the host country. But today is a little different as the Tanzanian president flags off the first batch of duty-free trucks to Tanzania. The, the minister has uh, good ideas that he is challenging you to, to look into ways of uh, making sure that you make these parts within the East African community area. But that is for Isuzu now. And Isuzu should see to it that they also establish plants. Some would ma manufacture this one, that one, that one, so that we come to a point where almost a greater part of it is, when we call it made in Kenya, East Africa, it is really a product of East Africa. Previously, trucks bought from Kenya attracted tariffs. This despite an EAC Customs Union agreement on the rule of origin for member states. The rules determine the eligibility of products that qualify for zero import duty on goods originating in the partner states. The tariffs are all predefined. All ministers of finance on an annual basis sit down together. We all have common tariffs, agree on what needs to come within our borders. But it's what happens at the borders that sometimes occasionally causes a bit of problem. And partly one of the things that the presidents of East Africa are doing is to really make sure that the bureaucrats who are manning these borders appreciate that this is one market. Uh, all the time the issue has been, do we have enough capacity so that we can increase the tariffs on the... be completely built, eh? The completely built vehicles. Harmonizing the age limit of second-hand cars in the economic block and the access to credit have been highlighted as some of the impediments to product uptake in the region. This is what we are trying to uh, emphasize to President Kikwete is on the issue of uh, market access uh, to the East African region as well as uh, looking for opportunities to harmonize age limit for products that are coming into the East African region so that we can be able to have some standardized policy around movement of goods, movement of people uh, in the region. Once we can demonstrate that we are able to produce those new things in our country, which is the right thing to do, we'll shut the tap on second-hand things. General Motors East Africa says its business has grown 15% year on year since 2013, producing more than 10,000 units. The firm attributes this to various infrastructure projects being implemented in the region. Now it is betting on the same to further drive growth in the next financial year. Leslie Murungu, CCTV.